It's been two years since the events of Maple Creek. And I'm still on the hunt for the evil preacher. So far, the murderer stayed one step ahead. But I have a lead. There are rumors of people disappearing mysteriously on the West Coast. The situation sounds familiar, but could it just be a coincidence? What was that? Whoa, what on earth happened here? There's no evidence of a car crash, but that camper trailer is clearly damaged. What? How? I've never seen marks quite like that. It's okay, sweetheart. I won't hurt you. Let's get you out of there. Come on. You don't have to be afraid anymore. I'm here to help. Can you tell me what happened? My mom. She's gone. <laughs> I'm scared. Is your name Becky? Becky, you're safe with me now. Take a deep breath and try to tell me again. Where's my mom? I want to talk to my mom. She's too shook up to talk to me. I need to calm her and win her trust somehow. What was that? I saw it earlier on the drive-in. She was a present from my mom. That should only sting a little. Now let's put a bandage on that scratch. My mom and dad are gone. A monster took them. Can you find them? Please? A monster? Oh, sweetheart. There's no such thing as monsters.
It's all gone. The camper, my truck, Becky. Where are they? And all the other stuff, too. What is going on here? Please tell me I'm hallucinating. I really hope the sunlight was playing tricks on my eyes. Welcome to Ravenwood Park, ma'am. I'm Gerald Woodmarsh, the owner. Hmm, a missing family. A stolen camper. A monstrous creature. Outside my park. Okay, okay, please calm down, ma'am. I'll be happy to help you. Though I'm sorry to say we didn't see anything. We only opened a few minutes ago. Hmm, seems I left my cell phone in my mansion on the other side of the valley. I'll go call for help. In the meantime, why don't you relax and tour the park a bit? Take a ride on the Redwood Gondola, free of charge. You can get a ticket here at the shop. Oh, and we've just had new maps printed. Here, take one. They look great, don't they? In any case, you can find me in my residence on the other side of the valley. Welcome to the park, ma'am. I overheard you speaking to Mr. Whitmarsh. What a frightening story. I'm sorry to say, I didn't witness a thing. Here's that Redwood Gondola ticket. You might as well enjoy the view. It'll be some time before help arrives. Should you need anything at all, don't hesitate to ask the park staff. The butterfly pendant. <laughs> Becky was wearing it around her neck. My mom. She's, She's gone. gone. I'm, I'm scared. scared. What's it doing under the snack bar door? Is Becky in there? But they all claimed not to have seen a thing. Strange. How come it was locked from the inside if there's no other exit? was that? At least I'm not hurt. What is this place? You're down here, then you're in need of mine. We can't trust anyone out there. This place is not what it seems. Is there anything you'd like to ask me? Who are you? Why are you locked up down here? I came here to settle an old score. My friend came out on top. For the time being, you're here to find some missing people, aren't you? But like me, you found yourself in trouble instead. I will help you get out of here and assist you in your investigation. But in return, I need you to release me. Trust me, we share the same foe.
pin your evidence on this board. I can help you in your investigation. I can see the whole board from here. Just clear the remaining stuff off it. Perfect. What exactly are you investigating? I have evidence that a few people disappeared this morning at the park gate. Under highly unusual circumstances. It comes as no surprise to me. I'll help you find them. Start off by identifying our missing persons. The whole family is gone. The mother's purse was left next to the park gate, together with her wallet, car keys, documents, and a picture of her daughter. The very girl I found. My mom, My mom and dad, dad are gone! gone. A monster oh, took them! And then lost, moments later. Such a happy family. Indeed. I can't leave now. I have to find them. But first, we need to establish what happened to them after they were taken. And who's behind their disappearance. But I can't do my part until I get out of this dungeon. Obviously. I think I can help you. Come here to the cell door. Is there anything you'd like to ask me? Your way in is your way out. The trap door. Among my few possessions, I have one of the two keys. To find the second, you'll have to search the maze of tunnels beyond the metal door. Decipher the rune symbols above the door. They will lead you through the maze. Good luck. The maze the prisoner spoke of. I should follow the runes in the code he gave me. It seems I've reached some kind of chamber. Thank you, Detective. As promised, I will tell you the story of your foe. Beware, though, for it reaches far into the past, beyond belief and imagination. In the beginning, there were twelve reapers, ancient spirits of the cruelest and foulest ilk. Through their dark rituals, they would spread evil, despair, and death. Their atrocious deeds were not aimless, though. They summoned and served their High Lord, Archdemon Osmond, the strongest and most powerful being in the pits of hell, who wreaked havoc through the world, bringing terror and destruction. Each time you bring another relief piece, I will tell you more. And, by the way, here's another artifact. I hope you'll find it handy.
What on earth was that? What is that strange light phenomenon? It's not the first time I've seen it. It was that fog raven thing that attacked the camper trailer. And the park. It looks deserted. I must watch. I must watch. What happened? Nothing. Something. I don't remember. I must have had a nap. Nothing. I've been living here for a long time. I must watch. If anything happens, I must... I like birds. There used to be so many of them here. I like birds and collecting things. You would be surprised at how many useful things I can find. I don't remember how long. I don't remember why, but I must watch. Here, take a look at this. I found it all just a while ago. All this stuff. It's from the Simpsons camper. The blue butterfly pendant is in the picture, too. It belongs to Becky's mother. The locket. It was mine once, but I don't remember why I thought it was valuable. You can keep it.
This souvenir shop doesn't seem to be selling souvenirs. License plates? Car keys? Air fresheners? What does this mean? This should put the bear into a nice, deep sleep. Hey, Mom! You're a movie star, and I'm the director. <laughs> One wouldn't find better evidence of what happened here. Now to find new batteries and see what happens next. Withered and decaying bodies stuffed in barrels and hidden in the catacombs. Why are there so many? Now you're beginning to understand, detective. This mystery is much larger than three missing people. If you want to find that family before they join the other corpses, you must hurry. I have a feeling they're still alive. The remains of numerous cars are up there. And of those who once owned them. It's hard not to associate this evidence with the bodies. And the Simpson family's possessions are also there. That ticket seller lady stands there on guard. I don't, I don't remember, remember why, why, but I must, I must watch. watch. She doesn't seem to be in her right mind. She didn't even remember giving me the ticket. Then again, she could be acting. Is she in on it? Or a victim playing the role unwillingly? If there's a role she plays, the question is, what is it?
The raven has dispersed into air. This is my chance to get across the valley unnoticed. It's Whitmarsh. He summons and controls that monstrous fog raven. A perfect guess, detective. This is our common foe. And no doubt the one who makes people disappear is also responsible for the whole atrocity here. Who is he? Come closer to the slit in the door, and I'll tell you what you want to know. The note I found in the safe. No doubt this refers to the bodies I found in the catacombs. When we link this with people disappearing along with their cars, we start to see the bigger picture. If there is a serial killer here, he might have a special place where he kills his victims. You can't be sure of this, but it's worth checking out. If it's true, then the Simpsons must be kept somewhere near. Indeed. So the most obvious question is, where is it? Is there anything you'd like to ask me? You said you would tell me more about our enemy. The one who kidnapped that family is the one who imprisoned me here. And the one whose story I tell. You've challenged no mere man, Detective. Whitmarsh, as he calls himself now, possesses skills you may consider unnatural. You've already witnessed some of them. Yes, the foggy beast is but an emanation of his power. Search his manor. There have to be secret chambers where he keeps his victims. Be careful, though. Minions of the Raven keep their eyes wide open all the time. Here, take this. I hope you'll find it useful in your search. Thank you. 
I'm alive. But where am I? Ah, uh, looks like I lost a few of my heavier tools. Something tells me this wasn't our last meeting. The monster is gone. I've got a bad feeling in my gut. Light and smoke. Is someone there? Who is that? And what is he doing here?
I know this place. Now I can reach the rest of the park. A monster? Oh, sweetheart. There's no such thing as monsters. The events in the camper, they went differently than I thought. Becky, she hasn't been taken by the beast. Something distracted it. Then she escaped with, or was taken by, whoever that was. It couldn't have been Whitmarsh. Why would he intervene to stop his own pet? If not Whitmarsh, then who? And where is she? One thing we know for sure. The investigation goes double track now. The girl and her parents got separated. This hair clip... Belonged to the girl? Exactly. I found it down there in the middle of the park, pretty far from Whitmarsh's house. And I saw someone by the river. It may or may not be the same person who took her from the camper. Caution, detective. He could be working for Whitmarsh. I'm not concerned about the risk. First, I need to cross the river.
What was that? Is someone inside? Me, so I hid. I'm fine. My friend rescued me when the monster attacked. He told me to hide if I saw anyone coming and to protect this. I recognize these. All the pictures refer to Maple Creek. And there's the evil preacher I've been hunting. Sorry, friend, but this is mine. Hamilton! Is that you? Yes, your old friend from Maple Creek, who was also hunting the preacher. I'm glad you're here. Whitmarsh sent me an invitation. Always distrust people who want to tell you something interesting. I've been spying on him, spying on me for a while now. Watch this place change. Doom and gloom into flowers and sunshine. I knew something was wrong here. Then the Simpsons arrived. I tried to warn them, but I couldn't without blowing my cover. I could feel the park wanted them. I tried stopping them at the gate, but Becky's parents were already gone. I managed to scare off the bird. Now, here we are. I couldn't wake you up. Your car was broken down, and I had to think fast. I hid you in the bushes and brought Becky here. I was going to come back. Then that... Cruddy old stairway finally gave in, got hurt pretty bad, and my lockpicks fell right out of my pocket. Uh, I need to sit. Uh, I think my leg's broken. Uh, give me a minute. Uh, I'll, I'll be all right. Uh. Please, can you help Mr. Hamilton? It's broken. I need a bandage and something straight to set the leg. Please, take this. These are my last ribbons. You can use them to help Mr. Hamilton. Then we can go and bring my parents back.
Done. The leg should be fine. Just don't re-injure it doing something stupid. Uh, I'll need something to prop myself up with. Thank you, Detective, and Becky. If not for your help, <laughs> I'd be a permanent resident in this awful place. Now, I propose that we split up. Take Becky somewhere safe and call the police. I'll search for her parents. No! I'm not going anywhere without my mom and dad. You're in harm's way, sweetheart. And that's a set of train tracks you don't want to be on. Don't try to play the tough guy. You're hurt bad. Yes, we should split up, but you're taking care of Becky. I'll keep searching. I'll find them. Promise. The bird must have taken her to Whitmarsh Manor. <laughs> Had to go and get myself injured. Listen, the way up there is blocked. I found a map showing tunnels running all under this place during my surveillance of Whitmarsh. You can take them to the other side of the park. The exit is marked on the map. You'll have to go on without me. I'll stay topside and do what I can from here. One more thing, Detective. You and I meeting here? It isn't a coincidence. Be careful.
Whitmarsh, where is he going? <laughs> Becky's parents, they're alive. But the roots are doing something to them, draining them. There must be a way in there. I found Becky's parents. They're imprisoned in the roots. There's a large column inside the chamber. The whole thing is choked with roots. If there is a specific place he takes his victims to kill them, this is probably it. Detective, you don't have much time. I can't move these bars. They're solid steel. There must be another way inside. Try to sneak into the manor. You're sure to find answers there. The second gondola station. I've reached the far side of the park. The tree. It's evil. Don't go there, it's... I must watch. I must report. I... I like birds. Do you? There used to be so many birds in these woods. You could watch them for days. I saw. I must report. You... The tree is evil. You will see. Whitmarsh again. It appears that crypt is connected to the tunnels below. This might be the way through the tunnels Hamilton mentioned.
This sap looks eerily like blood. There's the way out. Whitmarsh's mansion awaits. He's gone. This is my chance to search the mansion unnoticed.
It's the Simpsons camper. How did it get here? And my car. Among dozens of others. The ticket seller, that must be her in the picture. And in this photo, it's the same person. Where did you find it? Down there, in the dungeon. They were engaged. It's as I feared. She's a victim then. Why would Whitmarsh keep her alive? Wait. I don't, I don't remember, remember why, why, but I must, I must watch. watch. I must I watch. watch. If, anything if anything happens, happens I, must. I must. A watchman? Evidence. This is referring to her. She had all that stuff from the victim's cars with her. This is the evidence being referenced here. This has to mean Whitmarsh is compelling her. He uses her as a watchdog to alert him if anyone enters the park, and to keep an eye on them once they're inside. But she still retains some of her memories. She remembered the locket. You could try to bring her back memories. Even the harmful ones may break her hypnosis, which Whitmarsh has no doubt exploited. First the bodies, now dozens of abandoned cars. It's starting to make sense. Illusion. So this is how the whole thing works. The ruined and deserted park veils itself with an illusion of prosperity. Sometimes luring in unwitting travelers just passing by. Then the illusion fades, revealing the true darkness underneath. But for the innocents who get trapped here, it's already too late, like flies caught in a spider's web. The spider is already on its way. The cars of the dead are dumped deep in a cave. Their bodies are left in the catacombs to rot. There's only one more question then. 
Why? The only place where you might find the answer is Whitmarsh's mansion. You have no other option but to break inside. Is there anything you'd like to ask me? Why illusion? Tell me more. The park was abandoned before Whitmarsh conceived of using it as a trap. Had he revived it, the risk of the murders coming to light would have been much higher, because people would visit it deliberately, and every disappearance could be linked to this place directly. No, he only catches random passers-by, activating the illusion just before the gate pulls into their view. A camper or a motorhome is the perfect target. Those are reserved for the longest trips. No traces are left behind. So, barring some freak incident like a police detective accidentally showing up. See what I mean? By the way, this should help you make your way to Whitmarsh's estate. I... I remember. Mark! It's Mark. I remember now. Where is he? We came here. He? No? A very long time ago. We camped here, in this abandoned old heritage park. Whitmarsh caught us. He killed my friend. And Mark, my fiancé. I was left alive, but I don't know why. How many years have passed? It's all so blurry, like a dream. No, a nightmare. <gasps> I feel it's a blessing just to breathe again. I've been suffocating for so long in the dark. The... <sighs> Thank you. Whoever you are, and whatever you're doing here, I fear there's not much I can do for you in return. But take this. If you stumble upon my old van, maybe you'll find something useful there. How many years have passed? Please, I need some time to collect myself.
The Simpsons camper. It's ruined. I remember this casket. It was under the bed when I first explored the camper. Becky and her mom. I remember being that age. We didn't always get along when I got older. But they look happy here, like best friends. Hold on, sweetheart. I will get you out of there in no time.
Please, you need to find my parents. The bad man will do something terrible to them if you don't. Don't worry. I will find them. That's a promise. But first, I need to take you to a safe... It's him. He's coming back. He can't find you. Quick, hide inside that cupboard. No matter what happens, don't come out until I call you. Promise me you'll be a brave girl. Hmm, I didn't think you would get this far. I must say I'm impressed. No, speak. Where's the girl? You won't tell me. Ah, no matter. Either you hid her or let her run. It won't take me long to find her. Why are you here? I must report. I saw the girl. Running to the forest. North, outside the mansion. I can show you. <laughs> you see, I have many pairs of eyes watching. She can't have run far. My raven will catch her. Ah, we'd love to chat more, but you're not going anywhere. Now, if you'll excuse me, my other guests, a very nice family, are waiting. Uh, but don't worry, you're next. Becky, it's safe. The bad man is gone. You can come out now. What happened? Is he going to come back? Becky, listen to me. I'm trapped, and I can't move. You need to be a brave girl and get through to Mr. Hamilton. He will keep you safe. Can you do this for me? No, I won't leave you. You helped me. I'm a big girl. I can handle this. Just tell me what to do. Becky, see if you can reach that sword on the wall. I can't. It's too high for me. Try to move that chest over to the wall. I think you could climb it and reach the sword. It's too heavy. I can't move it. It's okay, sweetheart. We'll think of something else. See if you can open the chest. Maybe we could lighten it by removing its contents. It's closed, but I see a keyhole on the front. Whitmarsh must keep the key close at hand. Try to look for it among the stuff on the cupboard. I found it! Yay! Great! I'm proud of you, sweetheart. Now use the key on the chest and empty it. We're almost there, sweetheart. The chest shouldn't be that heavy anymore. Try to push it now. I did it! I'm strong! Becky, stand on the chest. Very, very carefully reach for the sword, grab it, and bring it to me. I told you I can do it. <laughs> Please hurry. We need to save my parents. Don't worry. I promise I will find them. But first, I need to take you somewhere safe. But there's no time. I think I can help you with that. I misled Whitmarsh in the forest. He sent the raven out ranging and went to the tree himself. I'll take the little one to your friend in the logging camp. We'll wait for you there. No! I want to see my parents! Becky, be a good girl and wait for me there. I will return with your parents. You promise? I promise. Now go, and be careful.
So it is all about demonic rituals. I've seen something like this before. Two years ago, in Maple Creek. Demonic rituals. According to the story I've been telling you, this shouldn't come as a surprise. It doesn't, but the way it works does. Makes my flesh crawl. The roots are used to suck the life from the victims. It feeds the heart of the demon's imposter, who originates from the tree. The roots, to be precise. The depleted corpses are left in the dark underground to rot. The whole area is warped and corrupted by evil. Twisted roots cover the land, obeying the will of their master. Like heartbroken, helpless witnesses, their once pure owners, the trees, are now dying, joining the victims in oblivion. I have to end this, by any means necessary. I will help you, detective, as soon as I am set free. You have my word. According to this sketch, underneath the tree there's some kind of ritual chamber. Wait. That place where I saw Becky's parents. The roots were growing wild. And there's a door at the bottom of the giant redwood. According to the sketch, there should be a passage that leads down to the chamber. This just might be the place we're searching for. So, the obvious conclusion is to find a way to open the gate.
Only one thing left to do. Find the rest of the pieces to the safe key. I bet there's somewhere inside the mansion. In reward, Asmodai granted his worshippers unnatural skills by casting part of his own life force into their hearts. He gave them strength, power, and above all, the gift of immortality. The tragedy of the world of old went on. Village after village fell victim to the wrath of Asmodai and his dreadful minions. In fear of the hellish horde, terrified 
and defenseless people prayed to God for help. And it came to pass that the Lord heard their call and sent down the mighty archangel Raphael to stand against the powerful evil. Raphael challenged Asmodai when the great duel came to pass. Light led him against the force of darkness. And from this epic battle, he came away victorious. Asmodai, the king of all demons and the wielder of darkness, was defeated. In the epic battle of light against darkness, Archangel Raphael defeated Asmodai and left the world restored back to peace and calm. The demon was not entirely destroyed, though. A trickle of his spirit survived, for the last sparkle of his fiery life force was bound to the very hearts of his worshippers. Weakened worshippers, devoid of their master, strength and power, had no choice but to escape into hiding. Each to his own way now. Spread around all the far sides of the world. In the pits of their shelters. They would secretly continue their evil deeds. Time passed. Months. Years, decades, and centuries. In the depths of their hideaways, the worshippers waited until eventually the time came when, in their hearts, they heard their masters call again. Centuries after his fall from the deepest pits of hell, Asmodai spoke to his servants, scattered around the world. All of them received the same message. Hunt each other and fight to the death until only one of you remains. Make use of the unholy ritual weapon, for unlike any other, its power shall break the bonds of immortality. The most powerful of my servants will be honored. For I shall claim his body for my return. The great hunt has begun. The one who had the weapon had the advantage over others and immediately became the first aggressor. However, bearing the artifact of desire, he would also become the most hunted prey. Some of the worshippers would work alone Others would temporarily join forces. Some would prefer to seek shelter and wait. Others kept seeking and hunting. Decades and centuries passed. And through murder, treason, and death, the ritual weapon would pass from hand to hand. With each new worshipper slain, Asmodai was closer and closer to achieving his goal. For the fading life force of each victim would be transferred, making the Slayer grow in power and preparing the host for the true master to be reborn. The time has finally come. When of the twelve dark spirits of old, only one remained. His name was the Raven.
I lied to you, detective. There are still two reapers remaining. The final duel is now about to begin. If I were you, I would pray that it is the priest who is victorious, not the raven. It is the second time you save me, and thus you're not on my list this time. It's the preacher from Maple Creek, the man I've been hunting. He and Whitmarsh are the last of the Reapers. How can I stop either of them? Think, detective. The evil preacher from Maple Creek, my ultimate enemy. He was here all the time. He will try to defeat Whitmarsh now. I will have to face whichever comes victorious from their duel. How can I match the Reapers of Asmodai? The ultimate weapon. This must be the one the preacher spoke of in his story. The only artifact with which the Reapers can be defeated. Wait. Back in Maple Creek, Hamilton stole the preacher's ritual dagger and tried to murder him with it. And now he's used it twice to scare off Whitmarsh's raven. This must be the weapon. This is why Whitmarsh sought Hamilton. He needed the weapon to slay the preacher, and thus become the last and most adored of the Reapers. Hamilton is here and has the dagger. It's time I paid him a visit. What? The preacher's here? What are we waiting for? Let's get after him. Damn it! I can't stand on this leg. You go ahead. But remember, he's dangerous. I'll follow you as soon as I can. But it might be a while. He's a dangerous man. And I'll follow your tracks as soon as I can. I suspected this weapon had a meaning to it, Marsh. But not this. No matter. Time's getting short. Take it and go. I'm right behind you. So, you managed to break free. <laughs> I assume that annoying woman had something to do with it. I admit, she was helpful for a human. No matter. Soon the ultimate weapon will be mine. The one who stole it from you will be here soon, like a fly falling in the spider's web. Then you'll meet your inevitable end, brother. Sassy as ever. You can try, but we both know Master favors me. Never! Darling, run. Becky, darling, run. Becky, darling, run. Becky, darling, run. Run! Becky's safe. She's hiding in the logging camp. Is our child safe? I don't know how to thank you. Run! Take care of your girl. Forget about me. There's no time. Thank you. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Fool! Did you really?
really think you could beat me? You should have escaped when you had a chance. Bereft of your tiny Maple Creek domain, hunted by mortals seeking shelter. Your forces are no match for my power. Look around you. Ah, detective, you never cease to amaze. Pity, I plan to keep you for the very end. I should have brought you here immediately. Now the game is over. <sighs> Weren't you looking for me? Where is the dagger? Where is it? Do I need to inflict some pain to make you talk? Hamilton did it to give me time to act. Think, detective. <laughs> You're only human! You thought you could oppose me? <laughs> I will squeeze the life out of you if I want to! Where's the dagger? Master. <laughs> 